guys, it's Mo, and we're off on another beach hunt today. We've got my uh, little apprentice grasshopper here, Steve. Say hello, Steve. Hi, guys. <laughs> we're off uh, down to Bournemouth just to see what we can find on the beach there. So it's been a bit stormy weather the last few days, and we've not been down for quite a few months, so we thought we'll give it a go. Weather forecast today, not too bad. It's supposed to be up to 21 degrees, bit of, bit of sun, bit of rain, so that'll keep us happy. So just come up to the Bournemouth side, so I'll catch up with you guys down on the beach. Catch up with them. Cheers then. Well guys, eventually we got down here just to find a parking spot was the problem. There's the uh, the main car parks are always empty at this time of year, but when you're talking about 12, 14 pounds to park, it's a, a bit steep. So we did find a, a space on one of the back streets. And we got down here now. I'm heading towards Bournemouth Pier, Steve's gone the other way, towards Boscombe Pier and then we're going to meet up uh, for lunch and then just to see how we got on then out for the afternoon session when the, the low tide is at uh, mid-afternoon low tide, the tide at the moment's still coming in you just see a bit of a cut down the side here and a few stones in front so I'll be following that down on the high tide line uh, down to the pier just to see what we can get up the other way, I lost the toss and Steve's gone that way, they seem to be a bit deeper the other side so we split the beach in two and uh, like I said we'll meet up later on, I've got the uh, trusty old Excalibur with me again, I just love this machine for getting around quickly, it's nice and light, got the control box on the, on the back of the uh, detecting vest, so let's uh, get the, the scoop in hand and off we go. Well guys, first find of the day, and we don't even need to get the digger out. There's a the two-piece sitting on the surface there. So it's a good ten minutes, that's the first signal. So it's a bit quiet, but we'll see what we can do. 20 B get in, seems like a bit sparse, we're just uh, searching along the tide line here, but it's high tide, so don't expect too much. Well guys, I've come along about five bays and I think I'm going to turn round. I can see what one of the, <laughs> the main problem is. Looks like Bournemouth Council have been building the beach up again. Can you see the, the big mound in front of me here? And that's a good three, four, five foot higher than the last time I was down here and it goes right up to the top of the beach there. And you can see even down here by the rocks, you see all this big mound here. That's normally three, four foot lower so all the sand has just washed down and covered it. I said all these rocks normally are really well exposed. I'm right down by the, the tide line. You just see that that's no signpost there. It's normally a lot further out. So I think we'll uh, do an about turn and go and see how Steve's getting on the other side because there's too much build up this side. And when you, when you stand on it, you can feel how soft it is. So there's not going to be much around other than the odd penny or penny. All I've got so far is just a, a 5p, a 2p, and four wrinkles after five bays. So. I've only got about three bays to go down to the pier, so I'll have a, another one bay, I'll go through this one and then I might turn back and see how Steve's getting on on the other side. Well guys, just took one little scoop there and I just chucked it over there and I can see where it is already. Looks like we've got a chain. Probably a silver one by the looks of things. Yeah, it's a long time since I found a chain. Just give a quick shake up, see what we got. Yeah, I've picked up the the disc that's on it. It's like a St. Christopher. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a ring on it as well. Yeah, beauty. That there looks silver as well. That's uh, not bad that, I've been going just over an hour and a half now. And the, uh, it's a couple of coins and that's been it and then this little beauty pops out. That's a bit of a result. That's a uh, see what Steve's got, see if, I, if he can top this one. <laughs> well guys, as usual, just check the hole, there's a hole there and I've got the, the necklace and that throw over there and there was something else just next to it. Looks like it's a charm or something. And it's another chain. Whoa, look at that. I didn't expect that. It's right next to it. Looks like a gold plated chain this one, but not like a pair of wings on it. Silver charm. Yep, 925 on the back. I think we'll uh, concentrate on this area for a little while. It's uh, nothing for an hour, and then two nice little finds like that with this couple of, well, 
not even a foot apart and you can see there the two little holes that I dug. Well guys you can see just my usual little spiral, I've got right in the middle there was where I got the first necklace and then got the other one with the charm and a few more coins out of here but it's always worth doing, you get one find, I always have a spiral out about 10 metres at the most, sort of like spiral and uh, nothing else comes out just move on but Looks like we got a bit of cutlery. <laughs> Coming up to lunchtime, so. Ooh, what a strange looking spoon that is. They've got a plastic end on it. Huh, never seen one like that before. Stainless steel with a plastic end. What does it say on it? Sassy. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> well, my mate over in Virginia Beach in the States there, there's one for your dog, big old Jack. He just loves tennis balls, so give me a shout out to check out Max Ben's channel over in Virginia Beach. Beer Max. Let's see if Jack can catch this one. I'll just chuck it to you over the pond. There you go. <laughs> well, guys, that's a deep one. Looks like we've got another spoon. They put two scoops down. Just come up the side of the groin here. Get him out. There we go. Yep, big stainless steel spoon. <laughs> At least I can have my dinner now. What's a, a belter? Vintners, vintners as well, yeah, that's a good make. Good stainless steel spoon. Oh well. Just watch, find all the decent stuff. <laughs> Just go find this crap. Well, guys, happened again. Just got that big spoon out of there and checked the hole. There was still another signal down there. Looks like we've got a little. Tiny spoon this time. Yeah, <laughs> like a little sugar spoon. Probably at the same set. Let's have a look. No, a different make that one, but nice little thing that. Come on, where's all the good stuff? Oh, well, guys, back out after an early lunch uh, just to catch the, the low tide at one o'clock. Steve there, he's a uh, shot off in front of me. <laughs> he's uh, he had about just shot of three quid this morning so far, and uh, I got 27p, so not a very good day, but I did get the bits of silver, which uh, <laughs> really pleased him. <laughs> anyway, there's a uh, good backing off of the tide now, and hopefully, it'll go out quite a way and we can start getting amongst the stuff. There's just too much sand being put onto the beach, it's all been refurbished uh, over sort of like the early part of the year and last year, so there's a hell of a lot of. Uh, sand as you can see it looks like a cut really but it's just basically where all the new sand's just been washed in so anyway we'll see what we can get this afternoon well guys look at that cut there that's the sort of thing you like to see when you come on a beach but unfortunately not on this one uh, that's all sand that's been dumped on there to replenish the beach it's all come from out there and it looks at first light you know great got a huge big cut of search along there you see the groins here, got one just I'm stood next to. Normally they would be above my head. That's how much sand I've got on the beach. So I think we'll be giving Bournemouth a miss for all through the summer. I'm going to find somewhere else because looking at this, it's not going to be shifting for long. It needs a hell of a few big storms to, to do get rid of it in, in the end. So I said all this here, that's just all sand that's come down from there. So I'm just waiting for maybe an hour or so for the tide to go a bit further and hopefully there's something out there. But Last hour we just had ring pulls, uh, not a coin, nothing. I think uh, Bournemouth for detecting is a bit of hit and miss now. Until all this sand is gone again. Oh well, we didn't know that till we come down here. <laughs> so uh, we'll carry on hunting anyway. At last, 50p get in. Oh, it's hard work today, it's supposed to have been down here for a long, long time. So we're Coming up to low tide, and that's the only coin I got in three, three bays. And one guy was down here before, and he just gave up. <laughs> well, we'll give it quite a few more hours yet. Well, guys, been worth the wait. Looks like we've got a lovely big silver ring in there. My mate Steve just come down and uh, pulled a funny face. <laughs> let's uh, let's see what we got. So it's a uh, right in the, the surf line here. It's quite a chunky one as well. There it is. Look at that. But is it silver? 
Nah, cast, white metal. Can't see any marks in it. Looks like it's uh, one of the American class ring things, but you can see the, the split there. So just white metal. Oh, I had this going for a while. <laughs> Last with printer pin. It's been there a long time. It's a green one. <laughs> Look at that. Mackie Deeds. About time because Steve's got two of these. That's my first one. Well, sure they're still here. That's been here a long, long time, that one. Look at the colour of that. Oh well, in the pocket. Look. Well, we come from uh, deep down there. It's a touch of the black sand there, so I'm in a, just a little hollow in the dry sand at the moment. Looks like we've got an old coin. Looks like an old penny or a hitney. Right, old penny. And a bit of movement off the top here. Let's, let's see who it is. Look what they tell, it's all corroded away. Definitely an old penny. I think I might, uh, oh, George V. Oh, that's one of the old ones. I think I might just concentrate on a little spiral around here just to see if there's anything else. So we're having a good bit of fun out there in the, in the waves. The wind's kicked up now and he's probably flying about the beach. Don't get too old for things like that. <laughs> I just think he's dead. Typical that we have Independence Day. Last week, they get out the Euro, what did we go and find? A oh, one Euro coin. <laughs> there you go Jack, there's one of your buddies from this side of the pond. He's, he's lost the tennis ball. We have a good friend for Jack there, Max. Poor Mr. Frog croaked it. <laughs> He's uh, not really too healthy. He is moving, but not very healthy, I don't think. He's uh, well gone. The seagulls have had him. Hello. Hi guys, it's Mal. Uh, <laughs> that was a frustrating day down at Bournemouth. Uh, Steve and I were all happy and jolly when we got down there and when we saw this five, six foot of sand that'd been pumped on the beach our heart just sank but we, we didn't give up, we persevered and we found a few bald patches, that's all we can really call them and didn't really get that much even the junk really is all covered all which is a good thing but still a few bits and pieces of junk sort of like candle holders where people have had little parties down there ring pulls, pull tabs they get three spoons, nice fitness spoon, a little sugar spoon to go with it. it looks like a baby's feeding spoon. So, <laughs> so it was a uh, strange the things you find in the beach. And um, I got rid of the razor off the beach because there's a little kiddie stood on the blade because not very clever that leaving razors stuck on the beach there. So just move that aside. So uh, there wasn't much junk really. Uh, it's all been covered over. Finds wise, Steve skunked me on coins. He got. Just short of £10 and he had £8 coins in there and I just got the one, the little green one. And that was near the last last hour, but I skunked him on the on the, the bling bling. We got the, uh, what we thought was a silver ring, a class ring, it's uh, just plated. Nice looking ring though. We got a little silver charm on it, looks like a gold plated necklace. I've had a good look there, there's no marks actually on the necklace. Uh, sorry, the, the bracelet. There is a... 925 on the little pair of wings on the back of it. So that's a nice little thing. Uh, we've got a, a ring as well, silver ring. Uh, it's not hallmarks, I think it's foreign. And it, it does, when you put the silver foil test on it, it does smell a rotten egg, so it shows it's silver. And the religious medallion on a lovely 925 silver chain. And what does it say on the back? Pray for me. <laughs> we were certainly praying to the gods, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> try to get that sand off the beach so and a few coins and a, a euro so the independence day and i'll go and get a euro typical so overall i think we'll be giving bournemouth a, a miss for quite a while now until all that sand's gone i think it's going to be winter hunt so steve and i are going to put our heads together and see what, what beaches we can come up with um 
difficult to say because the whole Bournemouth stretch now, no joking, it's got five, six foot, seven foot sand in some places. You stand next to the cut that I showed you in the film and the actual sand is above your head. It's that deep. So might be off to Blackpool next week. Uh, I've got up to see my mate Terry uh, just for a little short hunt up there. Depends on the weather because it's not very good for next week. So we should give that a go and then we'll be back to Vicarage Farm and start getting onto the summer hunt pasture fields. Uh, see what we can get out of those. So after a very frustrating day down at Bournemouth, lovely uh, sunny day, I had my plenty of sun cream on which he's got a, a bright red shirt, it looks like a lobster, uh, bright red neck, sorry, he looks like a lobster on the back there, so it's your pal Mal, happy hunting to you all, thank you to all my subscribers, thank you for all your comments and I look forward to the next hunt with you, cheers then.